Hi, I'm Samantha. That's me. And I'm Mason, the good-looking one on the right. And this is our Frenchie. Her name's Lily. And, and together, together we are Blissfully, Blissfully the, the Bensons. So I apologize if this footage isn't the greatest. It's very cloudy and rainy out right now, so it might be a little dark, but I try my best to turn the light on, open the blinds, and this is as good as we're gonna get. So I'm back to do my pregnancy updates for weeks 25 through 30. So at 25 weeks, She probably weighs about two pounds is what my app was telling me, which she might weigh a little bit more just because she does measure about two weeks ahead. So it could be more than that, but that's just general. My uterus is the size of a soccer ball. So all that weight inside of there adds an additional weight to mine. We started reading your bedtime stories at 25 weeks just because they can recognize your voice. So we want her to be able to recognize ours. And not much really went on during the 25th week. So pretty much it for that week. 26 week. I started craving peaches a lot. I really like the canned peaches. I put them in the fridge and they're a really good snack, whether it's morning, afternoon, at night. They're like one of my favorite things. And banana spinach smoothies. I make those literally with just almond milk, a banana, and like a handful of spinach and they're delicious. And I am starting to get like spurts of energy during this week. Don't know what it's from, but slightly tired but I still get stuff done because I do get those spurts of energy, so that helps out a lot. 27 weeks. The size of cauliflower. She absolutely loves to kick my bladder. I have to get up two to three times during the night just to go pee. It's kind of annoying, but it's okay because I know it's gonna be worth it in the end. My hair and my nails are growing like crazy. That's why I have a bunch of roots because it just won't stop growing. So there's really no point in me getting my hair done until towards the end just because I don't wanna waste money since it's just growing. It's gonna keep doing it because of the vitamins. So I believe we did take the bump to the beach. Might have been the week prior, but if you haven't seen that vlog yet, we do have that vlog up of us, Mason and I, taking the bump to Coco Beach, which I think she enjoyed that. She was moving around a lot. But we're sun babies, we're beach babies, so 28 weeks. Graham, and I can finally feel her body from the outside so I know exactly where she is. You poke around on your stomach and you can like feel where her high knee or her foot or her hand is. So that's kind of neat to be able to tell where she's sitting at that, that, that time. She likes to hang out really low though. If you noticed in my Tummy Tuesday or Bump Update pictures, you can see how low my belly is all the time. She hangs out down there really low. 29 weeks. I'm assuming it's a whole big bundle of the grapes, obviously because she wouldn't be the size of a tiny little grape. We went back for our second 3D sonogram because the first 3D sonogram she did not cooperate. And so far in those pictures that we've gotten, 
She has Mason's cheeks, no doubt, which I did have chubby cheeks when I was born, but Mason still has them, so they're definitely his cheeks. And she has my nose and his lips, so. She has hair, which makes the heartburn that I've been having throughout this entire pregnancy a lot less painful because I know that she has hair, so that's exciting. And she's still measuring about two weeks ahead, so thinking June baby, which would be next month, so we gotta get prepared. 30 weeks. videos and stuff that I say. It's not very fun though because it makes you feel kind of stupid and I can't function. I forget stuff. Like the other day I went into the laundry room. I think it was to get the laundry out. <laughs> no. I went in there to get more paper plates to stock up in our cabinets. And when I went in there I ended up getting the laundry out instead and then I never got the paper plate out, so stuff like that just keeps triggering my brain and I don't like it. We have her third 3D sonogram this week since the first time she didn't want to cooperate. Second time was a little better, but still not that great. So we're gonna try it again. We're in love with watching her little movements. I could sit there and just watch her for hours, watching her little feet and her hands and her butt and her just rolling all around. It's so cute and it's the best feeling in the world. I actually got to see her foot pop out. I guess she was pushing against my belly and I saw her little foot and you could feel like her little toes and everything. So that was super sweet. I did have some sharp pains this week, which they could be Braxton Hicks. Not positive what they are, but I'm assuming that's what they are. That's what the doctor said that they most likely are. So, getting Braxton Hicks already. Things are getting closer, so we're ready to go. So since I am at 30 weeks, just a general overall kind of update. Had the heartburn pretty much throughout the entire pregnancy. I get that pretty much every week, but knowing she has hair does make that a hundred times better. So whenever I get that, I just think that Lila girl has some hair on her head and it makes it better. I do have some stretch marks on my lower belly, which they're more on the left side than the right side. And I think that's because she really loves this left side. Whenever we go look at her on like pictures and the sonograms and stuff, she's always on the left side and that's where I feel her the most. So I think that's why I have more stretch marks over there. Like I said before, if you are on our Instagram and you watch our Tummy Tuesdays and our bump updates, you can see that she loves to hang out low. I know a lot of people, I mean, well everyone's different. A lot of people's stomachs are up higher, but mine is low. You can see that she's down at the very bottom. She loves it there. And just thinking that when my belly continues to grow, that Lila continues to grow, which means we're even closer to holding baby girl, meeting baby girl, and it's getting super exciting. So we're gonna be prepared all next month of June, just in case she does come early. But we're super excited and we can't wait to meet you. Like and subscribe to our channel. Blissfully the Bensons. Bensons.